Have you decided it's time to add a canine to your family dynamics, but you're unsure on what breed to get? Well, in today's video, we're gonna compare the differences between the Vimarana and the Golden Retriever. Welcome back to the Fenrir Vimarana Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Vimarana Show. So let's dive in and start with the history of both of these canines. Let's first start by taking a look at the Golden Retriever's history. The Golden Retriever was created by Dudley Major Banks, the first Lord of Tweedmouth. He developed the breed in the Scottish Highlands during the 19th century when Queen Victoria was on the throne in the United Kingdom. They were bred to hunt waterfowl like ducks and upland game. The Golden Retriever was developed by crossing a Yellow Retriever with a now extinct Tweed Water Spaniel. The Bloodhound and the Irish Setter were also added. The Golden Retriever was first showcased in a British dog show in 1908. The Golden Retriever received the name Retriever for their ab ability to bring back game without damaging the kill that was shot by hunters. This is thanks to their soft mouths. The Golden Retriever's popularity soared during the 1970s. They were first recognised as a flat-coated golden breed by the UK Kennel Club in 1903 and in 1911 they were finally recognised as the Golden Retriever. The Golden Retriever was recognised by the American Kennel Club in 1925 as the 78th breed. Next, let's look at the Weimarana. The breed originated from Germany. They were first bred for their hunting purposes in the early 19th century. Some of the first Weimaranas were owned and used by royals to hunt large game like deer, boar and bear. Over the years, these animals were hunted less and less. Weimaranas adapted to the hunt foxes, rabbits and fowl instead of big game. This breed was originally kept in the Weimar courts from where they developed the name. It's said that these beautiful dogs could have descended from the St. Hubert Hounds or Shengri dogs. These dogs were then bred to setters and pointers to create the breed that's loved today. In 1880, a Weimarana was first exhibited at a show in Berlin and in 1881, the first recognised pure bred litter was born. It wasn't until 1896 that the first breed standards were created by a man named Major von Bernal. Following that, in 1897, the first Weimarana Club was formed. It wasn't until 1935 that this gorgeous breed arrived in America, and in 1952, they arrived in Britain. The Golden Retriever is a medium-sized canine that has a lush, dense, golden-coloured coat, which is actually a double coat. A soft undercoat and a top coat that's water-resistant, making them excellent for swimming. Their coat should be brushed twice a week with a slicker brush to keep their coat tangle and dirt free. This also helps with the shedding. The Golden Retrievers has feathered fur on their front of their necks, their back of their thighs and the underneath of their tail. The Golden Retriever has a broad skull, short ears, a straight muzzle, deep chest, strong legs with a thick tail which curves upwards. The Golden Retriever has a friendly expression with brown welcoming eyes that make them such a desired breed to own. The Golden Retriever comes in three colours which consist of golden, light golden and dark golden. Male Golden Retrievers can stand up to 24 inches tall which is around 61 centimeters and they can weigh up to 75 pounds or 34 kilograms females stand up to 22 and a half inches which is around 57 centimeters and they can weigh up to 65 pounds or 30 kilograms the Weimarana is a medium to large size breed that has an athletic muscular appearance that's affectionately known as the gray ghost because of the coat color of mouse gray silver gray or silver as puppies they're born with dark stripes which disappear a few days after they're born their coat is short and only requires a quick brush each week to to keep it looking fresh and clean. There are longer haired versions of the breed, however, while recognised by most kennel clubs, they're not recognised everywhere, including the American Kennel Club. The longer haired breed does need brushing more often to keep their hair tangle free. Weimaranas have long heads, long ears that are set high on the head. They have strong necks and strong legs. Weimaranas originally had dock tails, but docking's now illegal in many countries, so you'll now mostly see their narrow, slim tail. Weimaranas stand up to a height of 28 inches or 71 centimetres at the withers and weigh up to 88 pounds or 40 kilograms. Females are a little smaller and usually stand up to 26 inches or 66 centimetres and weigh up to 77 pounds or 35 kilograms. The Golden Retriever is a very intelligent canine that loves to please their owners. This makes them quick learners and they thrive in obedience and manners training. The Golden Retriever is a loyal and loving breed which makes them very popular. However, they still require plenty of socialisation to the outside world from puppyhood to ensure they become a confident 
confident canine. You should socialize them to different sights, sounds, smells, and people during the first 16 weeks of their lives to get them comfortable with being outside of the home. The golden retrievers are very trustworthy breeds, so it's crucial that you show them that you are the canine leader, so they'll look to you for direction. They'll have an excellent temperament, they're kind and friendly and suit the needs of most canine owners. They're not shy of strangers and will greet everyone with a smile and a wagging tail. The golden retrievers are high energy canine. They need over an hour of exercise a day when they're fully grown, otherwise they'll get bored and turn to bad behaviours like chewing, digging, barking, destructive behaviour and anxious pacing. The Golden Retriever excels in dog sports like agility, obedience and hunting and field trials. These sports are a great way to channel their energy and will also strengthen the bond between you and your Golden Retriever. This breed is naturally mouthy and will love to hold things in their mouths like toys, balls, socks and anything else that will fit. The Weimarana is a lively and energetic breed who need owners that can keep up with their athletic needs. They need around two hours of exercise a day and will happily join you in a range of different activities like running, hiking or bike riding. They are an incredible affectionate breed who'll be stuck to you almost 24 7. This trait is why they're sometimes referred to as a velcro dog. As well as a couple of hours of exercise a day they also need the chance to really stretch their legs two to three times a week with a good run in a well fenced and secure backyard or by letting them loose on fields when they're out for a walk. Just make sure that your Vimarana has an impeccable recall before letting them off the lead whilst away from home. The Vimarana is sometimes referred to as a dog with a human brain. It's due to their high level of intelligence. This high intelligence means they're easy to train in manners of obedience and in toilet training. Positive reinforcements are essential when training your Weimarana as they don't respond well to harsh punishments or shouting. Both physical and mental stimulation is important with Weimaranas as if they're left alone to be bored they can turn to bad habits like chewing and barking. Remember a tired dog's a happy dog. The Golden Retriever is certainly high up on the list of the best dogs to have with children. As they've previously said they are very kind, gentle, loyal and loving breed and will quickly become your children's best friend. The Golden Retriever is not phased by children making loud noises or playing rough. Just be careful around small children as the golden retriever is a medium to large breed that could easily knock over children. Children should still be taught not to do things like pull your canine's ears or tail or grab them and they should also be taught never to take food off your dog as this can lead to resource guarding which is an unwanted behaviour. The golden retriever treats other animals the same as it does people. The breed loves to be around with other dogs. With proper socialisation they should be fine with other animals like cats, small domestic pets and outdoor animals. It's still advised, however, to never leave any children or pets unsupervised as every canine does have some sort of prey drive and accidents can happen. Weimaranas are extremely loyal breed to their owners and they can sometimes take time to warm up to visitors. They enjoy being around children as this means they'll get extra playtimes. However, be careful with small children as Weimaranas are large dogs and can accidentally knock them over. It's also important to teach any children how to treat your Weimarana and when to leave them alone. There should be no issues with your Weimarana living with other dogs or pets especially if you put the time and effort into try and socialising your dog to different situations. This will make them feel more relaxed when out on walks and will help them become a well-rounded dog. But bear in mind they do have a high prey drive due to their ancestry of being a hunting dog. If not properly socialised, they can clash with other dogs and animals. You'll find that your Weimarana won't actively approach other dogs when they're out on walks. They'll happily stay with you and assess the situation first. Both the Golden Retriever and the Weimarana are loyal, loving breeds who make brilliant companions for the whole family. They're both high energy dogs who love plenty of exercise and mental stimulation to keep them happy. If you can give these breeds the time and attention they deserve, you'll be rewarded with a beautiful, fun-loving family companion. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Vimarana videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Vimarana Show.